Hi, I'm Andy from Backcountry Access, and this is the Float 32 Avalanche Airbag. If you're unfamiliar with the float technology, these packs are designed to keep you on the snow surface during an avalanche. So if you were out in the field and a slide came along, you'd pull this trigger, which would activate a 150 liter airbag that would deploy. In the end, that would make you more buoyant, add mass to you, keep you on the snow surface, and eliminate burial when that snow comes to rest. So this is our float 32 pack. It's the largest float pack we make. It's really ideal for full days out in the backcountry where you need to bring along all that essential gear. It'll fit all your first aid stuff, extra down jacket, and really anything for a long day out. So down here include our diagonal ski carry. We have a nice big loop down here. Here's our upper loop that's fully adjustable. Um, in addition to that, we have these little little elastic loops here. These are really nice for carrying any ice tools for those springtime uh, descents. And also here on the front of the pack we have a helmet sling. So this thing comes right out of here and loops onto these white little web. And that will allow you to stow your helmet on the outside of your pack on the way up so you're not taking up uh, valuable storage space on the inside. When your helmet's not on here, this thing just stows away again. Just slides right up here in this pocket. Also on the front here we have our nice fleece lined goggle pocket. It's going to ensure your lenses don't get scratched up when you throw them in there. We also have this nice separated front pocket for your snow safety tools. So shovel blade, shovel handle, probe, put your skins in here, your snow study kit, really anything that maybe gets wet and you don't want to touch the dry goods in your main storage compartment. And then here we get into our main storage compartment on the pack. This is where you're going to keep the majority of your goods. You'll notice we have a little hanger up here for a hydration bladder. Your cylinder for your airbag will stow here. And the rest of this is used for your gear. And then we have this nice zipper pocket up here um, for keys, any items you don't want to get loose in your pack. We also have these nice side compression straps that are just going to allow you to snug up the volume of the pack when you don't have it completely full. That just will make sure all those items are secure in there and not floating around. And if I turn the pack around here, you'll notice we have our beefy waist belts. We have our nice waist belt pocket for uh, you know any, any bars, camera, any quick hit items you want to carry. Nice reinforced back panel on here that's going to help distribute that weight nicely. And then you'll notice here we have our trigger on on our left side. Now with the Float 32, the trigger can be placed on either side of the pack depending on what, what hand you're more comfortable pulling that trigger with. Um, in whichever side isn't, isn't housing the trigger, you can run a hydration tube in there. So just like the Float 22, the 32 is also built to accommodate a snowboard. You can get our snowboard carry here. This is an extra item that's not included with the pack that runs for about 35 bucks. And that just goes onto the back panel here and allows you to carry your snowboard uh, in a horizontal position. Just like on our other float models, we have our metal waist belt buckles. Um, these are just going to ensure that that pack stays put on your back if you do take a ride and a slide. Um, in addition to the metal waist belt buckles, we sell these things with this leg loop harness. And basically this threads onto your waist belt, loops behind your leg, and then the other end threads onto that waist belt also. And that's just going to ensure that that pack doesn't get pulled off over your head uh, if you were to go for a ride.